Alright. I feel like I feel I should do this just in case. Because when you run out of when when you run out of gas, it's kind of like well, you know, now you're boned because it's like there's nothing you can do about it except like get more geysers. But it takes a while to mine them out. So, dude, he came out. He's he's all confused. He's like, "Fucking, who said all these lab monkeys for you?" I never use science vessels either to any to any great extent either. I feel kind of. Wow, I, I failed in this in this let's play so much. We can do it. I, I want the who who set all these lot monkeys free, but I'll do that after. Uh, actually, I didn't make a fleet beacon. Actually, uh, how could I? I didn't build the thing yet. No. Uh oh. Uh. Yamato, Yamato's balls out. This is not good. Well, all the are still fucking up the countryside. Man, let's get Yubato out while I'm at it. Do I have enough... Whatever these things are, supply depots? Okay, I think I got enough here. And I think we're good to go. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Okay, carriers now. Oh, look, now I got, now I got minerals flowing in. Man, I almost feel like I should get like even more fucking Stargates. Well, you know what? I might as well afford these guys because uh, they. I, I've started making carriers late. That's basically my reasoning for this. Oh, and Arbiters, 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 Arbiters. You gotta do that. Uh, yeah, we gotta do. We gotta. We gotta fucking tech all the way into that. Unfortunately. Uh, so. <laughs> But armor is bad. I, I could have a fleet of cloaked battle cruisers. How how like how much would you like piss your pants? And I'm running out of gas. Holy shit. Yes. Yeah, it's not good at all. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done with probes. Um, for reasons that should be fairly obvious. Oh my god. I you know, I probably don't need this many things. Because it just now occurred to me that, I'm gonna, that, just like I said, what would happen. I must instruct additional pylons as well. I, c I could make drawings with pylons again. What, what do I need for this? Temple archives. Wow, it's like, you know, I, I don't even think Arbiter's really that good. Because, I mean, they're countered by, like, pretty much you get one detector and you, you basically spent like a billion gas for nothing. Like they're they're kind of like a fun to have unit, but they're like they're kind of they're fucking useless. When, when you when it rolls down to it, they kind of are. Alright, and let's go get you to repair him. Suckle on him. Alright, so how much do you think I'm gonna leg leg my game here? I only need twelve. I'm gonna now make some science vessels. And then I'll ma I'll make them all group up, yes, sir, and then we'll all we'll attack the orb mine directly in its anal area. I I'm pretty sure the orb mine does have an anal, anal area. Fucking, okay, let's make another stargate. I've now changed my mind on that subject, and also whatever the fuck this is, and also get these guys on gas. And also, you you guys can just go mine here. Man, I got like a huge mineral operation going on here. No, I, I really do think they have the best voice though. The carriers. Best voice actor ever. They sound so raw and manly. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We need repairs. Set the course. Alright, we got the first battle group is ready. And now we just get carriers over. Carrier has arrived. Carrier has we're, arrived. we're gonna need we're gonna need these guys as well. You know that you know that the same voice actor as Mr. Burns plays the, um, the science vessel? He really is. It's really strange. 
But I'm, I'm serious, it is. Receiving I don't know if you guys can hear it. I like the cut of your jib. Explore reporting. E equals MC. So let me get my notepad. Hmm, fusion, eh? I'll have to remember that. Who set all these lab monkeys free? I think we may have a gas leak. Do any of you fools know how to shut off this infernal contraption? The ship, out of danger. Has arrived. We have okay, that's just good for that. Anytime you're ready. Uh, oh, wait, so never mind, we need to get you to repair that. Instructions and, commencing. yeah, just a couple more interceptors. One, two, three, four, I need one more. Oh, no, no, never mind, I don't, because you're, you're, the, you're the last one. I hear you. Do you really, though? I'm just going to get you on gas, because I'm too lazy to bring you anywhere else. Don't worry, guys, we're almost ready for this epic attack. Epic proportions of epicness. So, one, two. Oh, man. It's a good thing Dark Templar is actually one hit Zerglings, too. That's pretty baller. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm already full. Oh, wait, I made one too many. Okay, you will, you will be the, the only base defense here. Okay, we need we need cloaks. And well, we might as well go upgrade the some of these things as well. I'm, I think I'm out of things to upgrade. Whatever. Once I get once I get another arbiter, I think we're good then. Uh oh. No, not my planetary fortress. We got fucked. You're ready. Yeah, I think we're good. I kind of, I kind of don't want to wait for them, but at the, on the other hand, I probably should. And you should probably go repair Jimmy. Jimmy fucking took a lot of damage. Man, Jimmy, you better not die during the invasion, because I swear to God, I'm invested so much into you. I like, I like fucking Tassadar too. Tassadar's pretty cool. Alright, come on, finish, 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 finish. There we go, we're good. So that's it, we got our, we got our battle group. And who's this guy? Get out of there. Get that SCV to repair him. Actually, I probably should fucking do this and also I, I didn't do any any research at all. I'm like, I'm like, I haven't used science vessels at all and then I fucking don't even use them. Uh, Godspeed. Massive fleet of guys. Wow, how did, how did this guy take so much damage? Everything's on fire. I think this, this speaks a lot, very well about fucking Zerg and shit. Because everything's on fire. Alright. Uh, so, the turns and, and, and the whatevers are, are now beating up. And and they're gonna they're gonna become best of friends. I I, I always kind of like that is that the the the, the Terran and the Protoss kind of work together. That was always kind of cool to me. Alright. So. Where's the other? Uh... Oh, you fucker! Oh, that, no wonder they're on fire. Well, that explains everything. You know, I, I probably shouldn't have one pylon powering this entire thing. I think the AI is too fucking dumb to, to target. You know, I, I can't help but to feel that they didn't, uh, they didn't give me enough things. But that's okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I don't know where- the, oh, there's the other Arbiter. I'm like, where is he? Where's Arby? Alright, everyone into one large group. Let's give me the best micro we've ever seen. Alright, into the middle. Let's do this. And the carriers are slightly faster. We got this. What? Oh. Apparent, apparent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Evasive maneuvers. No, we lost one. Okay, so. 
I, th I, th I think these guys will have to serve as anti-air slightly. Oh, there goes another guy. Wow, carriers suck balls compared to battle cruisers. Battle cruisers is so better at so much better at like an being anti scourge. Uh, maybe I should save it. Uh, there you go. That's descriptive, isn't it? And we're, we're of course going to do the grand finale of of DLC. Oh, Scourge! Scourge is incoming. But they they're they're just offing the, they're just fucking off. Okay, we do this. And we continue. Oh wait, there we are. All right, wow, we're already here. And that didn't even finish him off. Uh, that's kind of lame. All right, well let's just finish off the overmind, and that's the end. Severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrathor into a collision course with the Overmind. If I can channel enough of the Dark Templar's energy through the hull of the Gantrathor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Adun watch over you. I don't think we really sustained any damage at all, like, I had a lot of guys. That's the end of this game. A little bit of dialogue here, and here we go. Here's the credits. Um, yeah, one of my one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, mostly for the custom mapping. Uh, I, I thought the campaign story was fantastic, though. Um, if you're paying attention to it, it's mostly within the briefings and the dialogue, you know. But it was good. Like it's kind of a little bit of a twist ending, a little bit unique. Um, not no. No constant pop culture references kind of thing. I think it was a much simpler time and all that. But yeah, there's like not a whole lot of people in involved in it too. You kind of just look at this and it's like kind of like, like it's it lists like like 10 guys, but it's kind of like you, you kind of know that it's only like a, a couple, like maybe like three or four were involved in that particular area at, at most. It's just the other guys are kind of listed there because, you know, maybe they're brought on last minute or something, but they weren't like the main guys kind of thing. They had a very core team. So that's kind of, that's kind of neat though. But yeah, um, that, there's not, there's not much to say. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's really good. It's a, it's a classic. It, it, it hasn't aged the best, but, uh, 
it's it's still really really good uh, even to today and you know if you look online you can actually see a bunch of stories about the development of the game uh, and and a bunch of hassles they had like apparently like um, the engine for this was written in like two weeks like a guy literally locked himself in, in, in a room because they were embarrassed that this game was originally running under the Warcraft uh, 2 engine or something Warcraft yeah it was a Warcraft 2 engine and so they got a little bit embarrassed and then they they decided that um, this is when this is back when Blizzard actually had like like quality standards they wouldn't release games like they went they wouldn't depend upon patching it after which is what they do now but they didn't want to release a, f a bad engine so a, literally a guy locked himself in a, in a room for like two weeks and and made this entire engine which is which is pretty crazy um, they have like a lot of little uh, weird things with the engine too I kind of I, I little bit wish that they would release this game as open source uh, just just so people can can kind of get their hands into it because that's the thing I've always liked about uh, Carback is he's always released the the old Doom games and, and Quake and stuff and as open source and people do some crazy ass source ports and stuff like that and this this game would really benefit from something like that but uh because it's got it's got like a pretty large following but unfortunately they uh, Blizzard will be Blizzard so they're not gonna do that but yeah um, uh it's 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 some, it's actually some fairly decent artwork and it's uh the the 3D cinematics and everything are, are really as I said for the for its time was was really quite quite actually good and I remember I remember I, I I could barely run this on like I had like a computer that was like like 90 megahertz or something I I don't I, don't, I forget what the minimum requirements for this are but um but I had, I had a shit computer that that ran this. I, I used it with the map editor too. It basically, I was I was basically just meeting the minimum requirements <laughs> on that machine, but like now now I'll just run on anything, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, it, it's a shame though that the the resolution though there's no there's no actual good resolution hacks for this. Like uh, uh, there there's some exist, but they're kind of they make the game really strange, and you're you're basically just hacking it into doing it doing what you want. So. There's really no point. That's why I kind of kept it in the four by three and all that, because uh, that's I, I don't know. That's the, the way the game originally was. So, and there hasn't been much not notable improvement, because I know that the, the Quake engine and the Doom engine were were very um, hard to find for for the resolutions. But people made the source ports, which allow for better resolutions. Which is why when you see me playing those games, you get the widescreen. But this one, no, you don't. It's a little bit sad. Uh, it could be a much better port, but uh, they don't release the source. So that's, I guess, just the way it goes. But yeah, I, I hope I wasn't ranting too much on shit, because I, I think during the Protoss campaign especially, I started talking about political and, and other stuff, because I was just so mad. And I, I still kind of am. Like, that hasn't that part hasn't changed all that much. Yeah, my modem's still off. I just looked... And, um, it's <laughs> Canadian internet is shit. I can't believe I did this whole thing and I haven't posted a single part yet. Man. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of crappy because I like to, I like to put up steady, steady content and I'm, I'm kind of mad when I have to put it all up at once because I'm going on vacation. Yeah. Because, or else you'd have to wait for two weeks for me to put it up after that and then you know, nobody's going to like waiting. We were complaining, like, Mike, did you die? And we'd be like, yeah. And there's supposed to be a bunch of other games coming out soon, like Torchlight 2, uh, Borderlands 2, and so, some other ones I was planning on doing. But uh, but yeah, I'm not getting to those until I get back, so so yeah, you're just, you just got to live with it. Also, Black Mesa Source came out. I haven't even tried it out. Like, I, it came out like Friday. So you know, just Black Mesa. Yeah, is it called Black Mesa Source? I don't know what it's called. So it's like that, basically that Half-Life game that people made. I, I hear it's really good. Um, I, like on on Reddit through my phone, <laughs> uh, and that's that's basically all I could do because I'm now like at my bandwidth cap for my phone, so I can't really look that up anymore, and I can't even try it out for myself. So, yeah, there's a fair number of things you'll be seeing me do when I get back uh, into into Canada and all that. But yeah, it's it's kind of crazy the, the whole esports scene with this game because it 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 grew so like it grew so big, and it's it's all Korea's fault too. Korea did it. Uh, nobody else, nobody else really, uh, well, North America esports is just growing now, uh, but Korea is, Korea, Korea is crazy. It's pretty cool. 
Oh well. They have a they have a lot of weird thanks to's. I see I see Morheim or whatever the CEO is, he thanked a bunch of people. I guess he's been with that company since the beginning, I didn't actually expect that. Shane's not Alan's mom. <laughs> yeah, fuck Alan's mom. I hate that guy. I don't know who he is. <laughs> they have a lot of weird people here. Huh. Long Island iced teas. <laughs> well, you know. That's that's sometimes uh, what it takes to, to get a big project done. is pizza, iced tea, all that kind of stuff. The residents of South Park. Yeah, that's right. South Park was... Uh, it, it's kind of weird. You, you don't think about it, but... 420. <laughs> uh, monkeys. They have a whole bunch of stuff. George Lucas. What did, what did he have to do with this? I can say... Team Fortress Software. Huh. W, w Mouse 1 Fire Bats. It's kind of weird, because, uh, like, fucking... Uh, South Park was still on at the time? On at the time? Oh yeah, Operation CWAL, that's uh, Operation Can't Wait Any Longer, which is something to do with the, the game. No pixels were harmed in the making of the Oh, that's just cheesy. What? That's cheesy. Come on. Alright, well that's the end of uh, StarCraft for you, so uh, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.